What up, man? It's your boy, Shopping 360, aka Legacy, and here we go on Gamers Nation 360. And I want to go ahead and thank you guys. You guys are my most loyal subscribers for following me here in this channel. And today I'm going to show you how to do glitchy ass routes, route swapping, what people like to do online, what people like to do in tournaments to get those players wide open. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a really simple, basic pistol spread. Uh, route swap that people like to do and first of all what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into your into your uh, the formation and then you want to go ahead and, uh, and sub so you're gonna press sub you're gonna press R1 or uh, in this case uh, if you run Xbox one it would be right bumper so you hit right bumper what you want to do here you you're gonna go to go ahead and put the tight end as the outside wide receiver in this case we already got hit Miller there at the tight end position if you got the the Patriots you can want to go ahead and put Gronkowski you got the Cowboys put Jason Wynn if you got the Seahawks put Wilson etc a tight end that can catch at that position all right uh, we're gonna go ahead and come out and cover three yards so right there we're gonna go ahead and go back and select any this works with any player who has a slot receiver uh, on, uh, on a wheel route so we're gonna go ahead and put uh select the fates match in the situation so as you guys can see here this is really tricky man because this is what happens usually uh, triangle is gonna be the slot receiver and I used to do this mistake people would route swap on me and I would I would not even pay attention I would just automatically uh, man up this guy okay etc okay so one of the things is that if you do do that do that all right if you if they route swap you got to pay attention to these two guys if the tight end is on the inside it's on the outside if you notice the tight end is on the outside you know you got to know that they're going to route swap guys so uh in this case uh what happens as soon as you route swap you're going to go ahead and press square on ps4 and then left uh, l2 square and l2 and that's going to route swap those two guys okay and uh, it could be also uh, X on Xbox One or left trigger and left trigger after that and that's gonna route swap as you guys can see there. So this is what happens when you route swap. Uh, after you route swap, you're not gonna notice that they route swap. So you, you, real quick right here, all you have to do when you route swap, they, you route swap a wheel route like that, you just have to tie, uh, throw it to the tight end, no pass lead at all. Just right there, just hike the ball. No pass lead, he'll go up and get it himself. Okay, and this works against cover three, cover four, and uh, it's uh, it's not that good against cover cover two and two men under or man, but definitely right here, uh, you could throw uh, if they're guarding to the outside or putting purpose to the outside, you could throw that little hitch route. Okay, so right there, okay, right there, hike the ball and then just boom, look at that, wide open. Now a lot of people make this mistake. Look at the two guys, all right, right here. When you route swap. Guess what happens? The buttons change. So if after the play, I'm right here thinking, oh shit, I'm, I need to guard this guy. And this guy used to be triangle, all right? Uh, the inside guy used to be triangle and the outside used to be square. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna man up this guy right here. Or I'm gonna man up this guy. People do this. I'm gonna man him up because he's he keeps throwing it out to that wheel right on the outside. People are gonna do this. They're gonna man up square. The square was the actual icon on the outside. So what's gonna happen is gonna even leave them more open right there and it's gonna look like a fucking glitch. But this is what people are doing wrong, okay? When they man up and they notice that it's a wheel rod, every time you see a wheel rod on the play, okay, on defense, this is how you read this. When you're on defense, every time you see a wheel rod on the inside and the guy on the outside is getting wide open, you gotta know they're rod swapping. So they're rod swapping here, especially when you're manning up this guy and he's getting uh, wide open, all right? Because the icon square is always on the outside. So you get used to uh, doing square on the outside, square on the outside, and all of a sudden they route swap. So now square's on the inside and you get it wrong. So it's gonna look like a freaking glitch. And that's how the people uh, glitch you guys out because you don't know what's going on with the buttons, all right? So, but even if you just leave it like this, even if you just leave it like that, okay? Uh, without manning anybody up. So you're gonna go ahead uh, and uh, throw to the field route. Look at the field route. Still, it's unguardable unless you actually manually put somebody out there. The way to stop this, so I'm showing you guys how to route swap and do this play. I'm gonna show you guys how to stop it now. 
So the way to stop it is you're gonna see the icons here. Always see the icons on the left or the right. If you don't know, the spread looks similar. I could flip the plane and it will look the same on both sides. You won't know what it is. Just gotta recognize that there's a tight end on the outside. If there's a tight end on the outside, they're gonna route swap you. And you gotta make sure what buttons are switching. So you guys see this right here? You're gonna pay attention to the buttons. Boom, after the buttons are switched, then you start adjusting. You start manning up the outside. You can even man up this guy right here, okay? Now after you man up that route, right, without without confusing the buttons, okay, look at this. Okay, now it's guarded. Okay, so that's how you stop this route, this glitch route, guys. So, hey, I wanna go ahead and thank you guys for watching this episode here of the, the glitchy, glitchy offense, glitchy defense. And uh, I'm gonna be breaking down more of this stuff here at Game Edition 360. So at this channel, I want you guys to keep it a secret, man. I know I'm, uh, I was getting a lot of subscribers on this channel, so I decided to slow it down, but I'm bringing it back to help you guys out with anything you guys may need here. Uh, this is our glitchy channel. You guys that are subscribers that are following me here right now are probably the most, uh, you know, uh, the subs, the most uh, loyal subs that I have. So I'm gonna be loyal to you guys and give you guys the insight that of uh, some of the secrets the top players are using here. So thank you guys for watching. Anybody you guys want me to break down uh, uh, one of your favorite commentators, one of your favorite players, I know other schemes, go ahead and put it here in the comment section. I'll be more than glad to break those players down as well on, on here so everybody can see. So make sure you keep this side a secret. Make sure you don't tell anybody about this. Until later, it's your boy Shocker 68 k Legacy. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices. Later, it's your boy Shock360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.